playing our first battle in the Gazala campaign. I picked attack, he picked defend. We're playing battle number three, which is the only British attack. We rolled a one, so it's bridge hit. So the way we're doing the story is that this is sort of like a, an outpost of the uh, Germans. They set up some minefields here. They have, this is a Fallschirmjager pioneer uh, company. And uh, he's got one platoon there. They've got anti-tank, they've got Panzerknackers, so they're good on tanks. Uh, they've got mortars, those uh, Neville workers are actually mortars, heavy machine guns in the front, and then the HQ. And in... And an observation post. Oh, observation post right there. And in uh, ambush are Pack 40s. And the Pack 40s are right over here in ambush. The rest of this is Firestorm troops. This is not in reserve. He's got his stickers ready to go. And um, he's got an Italian Firestorm. He's got a German Africa, Light Africa Corps. Um, platoon, and then a, another Falschimiaga Pioneer platoon uh, ready to go. Uh, for the British, I've got the South African Rifle Platoon from Firestorm here. Um, let's see, I've got uh, another Firestorm here of 25 pounders, and then I picked Hurricanes, 17 pounders, and then I've got a uh, Grant Company with Crusaders in it, and then the Australian Cavalry Group, and they've got Cavalry Commander, and these guys have teamwork. So uh, that is, and the, um, the motor platoon, I've got a motor platoon that are in these carriers over here. So that's how the uh, campaign is going to begin. Uh, any special words of advice, Dan? Well, I'm kind of glad I didn't bring Tiger, so there's guys on the hill. Yeah, I was ready to blow up some uh, lots of tanks, and he doesn't have any tanks, so I think I'm in trouble, especially with all his minefields. So we'll see how it goes. So this is our setup. So the dice are already killing me. I couldn't get uh, any follow me, so two guys went in by themselves, missed both shots. He hits like three out of four. I rolled a one, of course, and got blown up there because I had to run away because I couldn't make that roll. So just moved in all across the board. My tanks are moving on this side. My artillery over here fired over here. Did get a hit to pin them down. South Africans are moving around the flank. Planes did it. They got one hit but didn't do anything. These guys missed their shots so we go to bottom turn one. Okay those guys couldn't unpin and uh, not a lot of shooting over here. The Stukas took out a Crusader in the HQ of the uh, these guys and bailed out the guy in the end. And miraculously, the uh, Universal Carriers were untouched <laughs> with all the shooting, machine guns, everything. They were able to get through unscathed. So we're going to need to change the paint set. We're going to the top of turn two. Tank didn't get back in. Universals moved up here. The Crusaders wiped out his mortars. The um, Grants came up and killed two of his machine gunners, pushed the rest of them back. Uh, artillery kept them pinned but couldn't kill anybody and then the South Africans are still swinging around the side. So uh, why don't you go ahead and roll your, see if they're unpinned, do you need three up? Nope. No. And then the machine guns, see if they're machine guns. No, no. And then you get two rolls for your reinforcements. And six of the HQ. Okay. I'm good. Yes. Okay, so those guys are unpinned. Roll two for your reinforcements because that's a big roll. No. Okay, so... Aircraft. Aircraft. Yes. yes so you get aircraft, and uh, so we go to bottom turn two. All right, so he pops his, uh, his uh, anti-tank guns, was able to bail out a Grant. Uh, his recoilless hit the uh, Crusader, but rolled a six and bounced it. The real damage here is by the Stukas, killed the bailed out tank and one of the Universal Carriers. I failed both my saves for the guys inside, so they're dead. And so we go to top of turn three. All right, so yeah, I guess, uh, anyway. Um, Crusaders came in here, got wiped out but in the assault. What, they take out one guy? Yeah. One machine gun. Grants came, no, the Grants were the ones that came in and took out one guy. <laughs> the Crusaders didn't do anything. They got murdered as soon as they came in. But these Crusaders came in, killed the HQ, pushed the, uh, these uh, pack 40s and machine guns off the hill. Uh, one of the guns couldn't get away, so it uh, it dies. 
and then uh, these guys are still pinned down. Everybody's pinned down. Infantry moved over here. My infantry got out. Universal carriers are swinging around. Planes did not come in. These guys didn't do anything. Oh, but we didn't do the uh, artillery. All right, so let's do the artillery real quick. It wouldn't count with these two. They... No, no, that's correct. So this is five, need four. So everybody but this guy right here. Proximity. Mm -hmm. The front two. Front two, needing fours and the firepower. So, all right, so he lost a guy there and they're still pinned. So we go to bottom turn three. He's gonna get somebody, go ahead and roll three. See how many reserves you get. I'm gonna use lucky. Okay, re-roll it back. Yeah, two okay. reserves. No, you get one. No. Well, the one automatically passed. So you could keep the lucky card because I don't think that. Okay. Yeah, so keep the lucky card. So you're gonna get one reserve and uh, we go to bottom turn three. Horsemen came in over here, tried to shoot and assault, but the, the uh, Uber machine guns from these guys were able to push them back and kill a bunch of guys. Uh, was able to kill one of my Crusaders with uh, the Pack 40, brought these guys in here to contest the objective. So if I'm able to push them off the objective in this top of turn four, then I will win the game. Otherwise, uh, it's going to look bad because he's going to get at least one more reinforcement. you got two more platoons coming on, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, and I'm running out of tanks here. So let's, let's do the um, Crusaders first. So I need a four to get back in. And I do, so I don't have to do a uh, runaway check because they will definitely run away. All right. Um, actually, that is, he does do a runner because he's the last one left. This is the uh, HQ. Mm -hmm. So he's going to run away in a five. He gets a reroll. And he runs away. So this guy runs away. All right. All right, so uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm actually close to breaking, so I have to beat you here. If I don't beat you here, you're gonna win, okay? Yeah, right. that's, that's wild, but it's true, okay? All right, so we're going to bottom, top of turn four. All right, so, so the Grants are the heroes here. Even though two of these guys got bailed out, these two guys right here, during the assault, they took on that entire platoon took a defensive fire from the Pack 40, the recoilless, uh, were able to get in and did a great job just crushing the, uh, the platoon. Only one stand survived and he had to finally back out, but these guys hung in there amazingly, even though that two were bailed out, they were gonna get destroyed if, uh, if I had to leave, but they hung in there. The uh, HQ commander is the one that, that survived, he's awesome. And uh, so now he's not near the um, the objective so according to the rules the game is over and uh, the allies win this first battle um, and that's it was there anything else no I think that's it yeah so I, I have to say that this is the the HQ here is the hero of the game he uh, he won the game <laughs> he won the I mean I did not expect him to hang in I was expecting to have to go in with these uh, this mortar platoon to try to finish you off and get you off and I realized, like, man, if, if I lose this battle, all those guys that used to be over here are now going to be swarmed over here. And that was a bad move. So I had to win this because if I lose this, this battle, you probably win. And uh, with another, at least one more, go ahead and roll your three. I bet you get three or you, you get uh, more than one. No. No. So you would have gotten one platoon. <laughs> and then where would have come in? Let's see here. Would have, there would have come in that corner so it would have been almost useless come up behind here oh i didn't get to do that uh, assault but uh, it doesn't matter because that's where it, that was the game right there so a uh, good game yeah. and uh it's our first battle let's see you killed excuse me you killed what did you kill any platoons yes, yes. My, you killed uh the crusader platoon your hq platoon it rained which one one you had here. Oh, two. So, okay. So that's two. Uh, so eight to one, seven to two victory for the allies on the first battle. And uh, we'll come back with what Dan's going to pick for our second battle. Yes. Uh, next week that we'll be playing on the same turn. It's just going to be one of the other battles. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed.